Sonic! Welcome to Fish North Georgia's The Guide. Here's Chris Gayton. Hello, Fish North Georgia. Chris Gayton coming to you again with a fishing report from Hickory Log Creek Reservoir, July the 5th. Um, talk to you a little bit about what we've seen, um, how we caught our fish, and what we expect to see in the next few weeks. Um, so starting out, water clarity was clear. Um, water temperature was in the low to mid 80s throughout the day. Um, I'll let, well, I say throughout the day, I only fished a few hours, but um, it was good. So first thing we caught our fish on was this watermelon purple glitter trick worm. It's just a, I don't know, I, I like that color the summertime. It's got a purple hint to it. Watermelon can't go wrong. Uh, most of the fish we were marking and finding was in about 15 foot of water. Um, I, I thought I'd put a pattern together where the fish were on the steep banks, but the more I moved around, the more I seen fish throughout, you know, on every type of bank. They were just, just to me, it seemed like the fish were more in that 15 foot range. Um, another thing I was throwing out there was a green pumpkin old monster, 10 and a half inch on a seven aught wide gap hook and a three eighths ounce sinker. Caught a couple fish on that. Caught some fish early on one of my favorites. It's a Kitek 3.3 slim um, and a three eighths underspin, fish head spin. Um, there was some schooling going on. The fish were staying subsurface. There wasn't a lot of nothing hitting on the top. It was more, you'd see the swirl, you'd see the bait jumping out of the water. You could throw that on the on the fish and, and catch them. Uh, never could get a fish to commit to a top water bait. Again, it's just that time of year. That water temperature gets up above 80. And <clears throat> it just seems like you can't get those fish to commit. Um, to that top water early in the morning and, and late in the afternoon, possibly, but uh, most of the time they're just, they're feeding subsurface. A bait that I caught a lot of fish on. Um, and this is actually one that I just have started throwing. This is a Castleberry jig, skip cast jig, and a half ounce. And this is pumpernickel, is the color, pumpernickel. And I matched that with a uh, Berkeley Power Bait meaty chunk and a watermelon red. So I don't know if you can see the red flake. Yeah, there you go. You can see the red flake in the chunk and this pumpernickel color is, uh, I like it a lot. I haven't never really thrown this color. Um, talking to Bryson over at Castleberry and he said man I gotta try it so there it is great color that's what it's all about that's what this is all about talking about stuff that we do that other people may not may or may not and going out and trying it uh that was it caught a lot of fish caught some really good fish uh best fish probably four and a half five pounds um, which is really good for hickory log. Caught a ton of fish. I never did. I know I could have caught fish on a drop shot. That's just one thing. I've caught a lot of fish over the years in that lake. Um, I just never did pick it up. It was a, a learning day for me. And, you know, that's why, you know, that, like I said, that's why we're doing this, to, to learn, to learn new ways to catch fish, try new things. Um, and I would encourage each and every one of you to do the same. If you have a, a favorite and, you know, something that, that you've always thrown, um, do something different. Challenge yourself. Try try another bait. Try a different color. Try a different way of fishing it. Um, that's what it's all about. We, You know, that's how we all grow as fishermen. Um, I, would, I would encourage each and every one of you to do that. 
just like I did this weekend. Um, it worked out for me and hopefully it'll work out for you all. That's all I have for this week's update. Um, I will be out of town on vacation for the next week. So hopefully as soon as we get back, um, we will be giving you another update from Hickory Log. We have a tournament there and uh, try to find somewhere to get on the water on Sunday as well. It's hard for me to go two weeks without fishing. Everyone have a great afternoon and uh, hope you all have a good one. Thanks. Thanks for watching the guide here at Fish North Georgia. Our mission is to build a community of anglers to give you the best and latest information to make your day on the water more successful. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, click the bell so you'll be notified of any future content. Make sure you check us out at fishnorthgeorgia.com where we carry a large variety of bait manufacturers from here in the North Georgia area. So we appreciate you being part of our community and we'll see you soon.